Beyond the Particle, embracing a system-centric view of the quantum realm through the 11-dimensional model. Modern quantum physics has achieved remarkable success in describing the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. However, its focus on individual particles and their isolated properties might be limiting our understanding of the deeper nature of reality. This essay proposes a paradigm shift, advocating for a system-centric view of the quantum realm, where particles are not seen as independent entities, but rather as integral components of dynamic systems. This shift is explored through the lens of the 11-dimensional model, which provides a framework for understanding the hierarchical organization of systems, the importance of orbital dynamics, and the fundamental role of polarity interactions in shaping the quantum world. The limitations of the particle-centric view Traditional quantum physics has largely adopted a reductionist approach, focusing on the properties of individual particles. Measurements are often designed to isolate particles and determine their characteristics, such as position, momentum, spin, and charge. While this approach has yielded valuable insights, it might be neglecting the crucial role of relationships and interactions in the quantum realm. One of the key limitations of the particle-centric view lies in its inability to fully reconcile the quantum world with the classical world. In classical physics, systems and relationships are fundamental. Objects are rarely seen in isolation, and their behavior is understood in the context of their interactions with other objects. In contrast, quantum physics often seems to prioritize the individual over the collective, leading to a disconnect between the two realms. Furthermore, the particle-centric view might be hindering our understanding of complex quantum phenomena, such as entanglement, where particles become interconnected in a way that defies classical explanation. By focusing on individual particles, we might be missing the underlying system-level dynamics that give rise to these phenomena. The 11-dimensional model, a system-centric framework. The 11-dimensional model, as we've discussed, offers a compelling alternative to the particle-centric view. It provides a hierarchical framework for understanding the organization of systems, emphasizing the importance of dimensionality in describing the complexity of interactions. In this model, dimensions 4 to 11 are seen as representing systems of increasing complexity. Dimensions 4 and 5, one-body systems, describe the fundamental movements and properties of a single entity laying the groundwork for understanding more complex systems. Dimensions 6 and 7, two-body systems, introduce the interactions and relationships between two entities, such as orbital systems or simple molecular bonds. Dimensions 8 and 9, three-body systems, expand the complexity to include the dynamics of three interacting entities, such as stellar systems or complex molecular structures. Dimensions 10 and 11, all-body systems, represent the ultimate interconnectedness of all entities within a system, encompassing the dynamics of entire galaxies, universes, or even the multiverse. This hierarchical framework suggests that particles are not isolated entities, but rather components of larger systems, organized according to their dimensional complexity. By shifting our focus from individual particles to these systems, we can gain a more complete understanding of the quantum realm. Orbital dynamics in the quantum realm. One of the key aspects of a system-centric view is the emphasis on orbital dynamics. In classical physics, orbital motion is a fundamental aspect of many systems, from planets orbiting stars to electrons orbiting atomic nuclei. The 11-dimensional model extends this concept to the quantum realm, suggesting that particles themselves might be manifestations of quantum-scale orbital systems. This idea challenges the traditional view of particles as point-like objects and proposes that they have a more complex internal structure. These quantum orbits could have specific shapes, orientations and frequencies, determining the particle's properties, such as mass, charge, spin and other quantum numbers. By focusing on the orbital dynamics of particles, we can move beyond the limitations of the particle-centric view and gain a deeper understanding of their behavior. For example, the concept of quantum orbits could explain the wave-particle duality, 
where particles exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties. The orbital motion could give rise to the wave-like behavior, while the interactions between orbits could manifest as particle-like behavior. Furthermore, the concept of quantum orbits could provide a framework for understanding quantum entanglement. Entangled particles could be seen as part of a larger, interconnected orbital system, where their fates are linked through their shared dynamics. Polarity interactions in the quantum realm. Another crucial aspect of a system-centric view is the emphasis on polarity interactions. In the 11-dimensional model, polarities are seen as fundamental properties of entities, representing directions or orientations in higher dimensional space. These polarities play a crucial role in shaping the interactions between entities and giving rise to the emergence of forces and fields. In the quantum realm, polarity interactions could be the key to understanding the fundamental forces of nature. For example, the electromagnetic force could be seen as a manifestation of polarity interactions between charged particles, where opposite polarities attract and like polarities repel. Similarly, the strong and weak nuclear forces could be explained by polarity interactions between quarks and other subatomic particles. These polarities could determine the strength and range of these forces, as well as the types of particles that interact through them. By focusing on polarity interactions, we can move beyond the limitations of the particle-centric view and gain a more unified understanding of the fundamental forces. This approach could also provide a framework for reconciling quantum physics with general relativity, as it would emphasize the importance of fields and interactions, which are central to Einstein's theory of gravity. Shifting from particle measurements to system measurements. The shift from a particle-centric view to a system-centric view requires a fundamental change in how we approach quantum measurement. Instead of focusing solely on measuring the properties of individual particles, we need to develop techniques for measuring the dynamics of quantum systems. This could involve measuring orbital dynamics, developing techniques for measuring the shapes, orientations and frequencies of quantum orbits. This might require new types of detectors or measurement devices that can capture the dynamic nature of these systems. Measuring polarity interactions. Developing techniques for measuring the polarities of particles and how they interact with each other. This might involve new types of experiments that can probe the fundamental forces at a deeper level. Measuring system level properties. Developing techniques for measuring the properties of entire quantum systems such as their energy levels, momentum and angular momentum. This might involve new types of analysis that can extract information about the collective behavior of particles within a system. This shift in measurement approach could have profound implications for our understanding of quantum phenomena. For example, it could lead to new insights into the nature of quantum entanglement, the observer effect, and the measurement problem. Challenging the observer effect. The observer effect, a phenomenon where the act of observation influences the behavior of a quantum system, has been a central puzzle in quantum physics. The particle-centric view often interprets this effect as evidence that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality. However, a system-centric view offers a different perspective. By shifting the focus from measuring individual particle properties to measuring system-level dynamics, we might be able to minimize the influence of the observer on the system. Instead of trying to isolate and measure individual particles, we could develop techniques for measuring the collective behavior of particles within a system without disturbing their individual properties. This approach could lead to a more objective understanding of quantum phenomena, reducing the reliance on interpretations that involve consciousness or subjective experience. Reconciling quantum physics and general relativity, one of the greatest challenges in modern physics, is to reconcile quantum physics with general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity. The particle-centric view has struggled to achieve this unification, as it treats gravity as a force that acts on individual particles. However, a system-centric view offers a promising avenue for reconciliation. By emphasizing the importance of systems and interactions, 
This approach aligns more closely with the principles of general relativity, which describes gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. In the 11-dimensional model, gravity could be seen as an emergent property of the interactions between particles within a system, mediated by the higher dimensions. The curvature of space-time could be a manifestation of the collective behavior of particles and their interactions, rather than a force acting on individual particles. This system-centric approach to gravity could provide a framework for developing a theory of quantum gravity, which would describe the behavior of gravity at the quantum level. It could also lead to a deeper understanding of the relationship between gravity and the other fundamental forces, potentially unifying them within a single framework. The shift from a particle-centric view to a system-centric view also has profound implications for our understanding of the multiverse. The particle-centric view often leads to a fragmented view of the multiverse, where each universe is seen as a separate entity with its own set of particles and laws of physics. However, a system-centric view suggests a more interconnected and holistic view of the multiverse. Different universes could be seen as parts of larger, interconnected systems, where their properties and behaviours are linked through higher dimensional interactions. The 11-dimensional model, with its emphasis on interconnectedness, provides a natural framework for understanding this holistic view of the multiverse. The higher dimensions could be seen as the connective tissue that links different universes, allowing for the transfer of information, energy, and even matter between them. This interconnectedness could have profound implications for our understanding of the origin and evolution of the universe. It could suggest that our universe is not unique or isolated, but rather part of a larger cosmic network, constantly interacting and exchanging information with other universes within the multiverse. The shift from a particle-centric view to a system-centric view represents a fundamental paradigm shift in quantum physics. It requires us to rethink our assumptions about the nature of reality, the role of measurement, and the relationship between the quantum world and the classical world. This shift is not merely a theoretical exercise. It has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and lead to new breakthroughs in science and technology. By embracing a system-centric view, we can develop a more complete and unified theory of physics, reconciling quantum physics with general relativity and unifying the fundamental forces within a single framework, gain a deeper understanding of quantum phenomena. Explaining entanglement, the observer effect, and the measurement problem in a more objective and consistent way. Explore the possibilities of the multiverse, Understanding the interconnectedness of different universes and the potential for interdimensional travel or communication. Develop new technologies. Harnessing the power of quantum systems for applications in computing, communication, energy and medicine. The journey towards a system-centric view of the quantum realm will undoubtedly be challenging. It will require the development of new mathematical tools, new experimental techniques and a willingness to challenge long-held assumptions. However, the potential rewards are immense. By embracing this paradigm shift, we can unlock the deepest mysteries of the universe and embark on a new era of scientific discovery. In conclusion, the limitations of the particle-centric view in quantum physics call for a fundamental shift towards a system-centric perspective. The 11-dimensional model provides a compelling framework for this shift, offering a hierarchical organization of systems, emphasizing the importance of orbital dynamics and polarity interactions, and paving the way for a more unified and interconnected understanding of the quantum realm and the universe as a whole. Embracing this paradigm shift will require a willingness to challenge existing assumptions, develop new mathematical tools, and explore new avenues of research but the potential rewards for our understanding of the cosmos are truly limitless. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below.